Sir, my name is Gil Roy from Bombay. I'm a businessman. And uh, thank you for the opportunity to speak here. I really enjoyed today, my first time. Now, many Muslim countries do not permit conversion out of Islam. But correct me if I'm wrong, I don't know of any non-Muslim majority country which prohibits people from converting into Islam. Now, what, what is the right thing in Islam? Because as you say, you know, you don't need the sword for Islam and uh, thousands and millions of followers will anyway get into Islam. What would be your response? The brother asked a very good question and a very important question that why don't some of the Muslim countries allow conversion or allow propagation? They don't allow the propagation to take place, they don't allow conversion from anyone to convert Muslim to a non-Muslim, basic question, whether it be anyone. Brother, as far as the propagation is concerned, there are countries, for example, Saudi Arabia, which does not allow propagation, the only country which I know very well, which does not allow propagation, it is Saudi Arabia. And the reason is that suppose, brother, you want to start a school. If you want to start a school, you are taking an interview of a match teacher. So when you take the interview of the match teacher, you ask the question, 2 plus 2 is equal to how much? So one match teacher says, 2 plus 2 is equal to 3. The second match teacher says, 2 plus 2 is equal to 4. The third match teacher says, 2 plus 2 is equal to 5. Now many people say, what's the problem? Let them preach any religion. Whoever wants to accept, let them accept. I will ask you a question. Will you allow a match teacher in your school to teach 2 plus 2 is equal to 3? Will you select the maths teacher who says 2 plus 2 is equal to 5? You'll say, no, I know maths. I'm definite about it. In maths, 2 plus 2 is equal to 4 and nothing else. So as far as religion is concerned, Saudi Arabia is very confirmed. It agrees with the verse of the Quran in Surah Imran, chapter 3, verse number 19. In Nadina in the Lord Islam, the only religion acceptable in the sight of Almighty God is peace acquired by submitting will to Almighty God. They will not allow anyone else to preach anything wrong. But in science and technology, they say to the Americans, Helen was silent. You're most welcome. They get people from England. They get people from India. No problem. In science and technology, they're not number one. So in science and technology, they have people coming from America, from England, from Singapore, from Philippines, from India, from all over the world. But as far as Dean is concerned, they are cocksure. They're 100% sure this is right. Same as you are cocksure that 2 plus 2 is equal to 4, you will not allow any wrong teachings. Same way, I agree with that. I'm a student of comparative religion, brother. There's no religious scripture on the face of the earth besides the Quran, which says that this is the only true religion. You read the scriptures of the Hindus. You read the scripture of the Christian, the Bible. Nowhere does the Bible say that Christianity is right. The word Christianity doesn't exist in the Bible. Do you know that? The word Christianity doesn't exist in the Bible. The word Hindu doesn't exist in the Vedas. Do you know that? Nowhere does the Vedas say that this is the only right religion. Nowhere does the Bible say that this is the only right religion. So Quran is the only religious scripture on the face of the earth where Almighty God says emphatically, in Nadina in the Islam, the only religion acceptable in the sight of Almighty God is Islam. So as far as preaching, Propagating and religion is concerned. I'm sure that if you know what is confirmed, they will not allow anyone else to preach something which is wrong. This India, it's a secular country. It's not a Hindu country. It's in the constitution of the people, for the people, by the people. I'm an Indian. Geographically, I'm a Hindu because I'm an Indian. But practicing Muslim, I'm a practicing Muslim. It's my birthright in this country to preach, propagate and practice this religion. That is what is in the constitution. So you have to change your constitution.